Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Anime Games. This is the series where all of the second-hand anime or any just single anime DVDs I pick up from retail stores, I show off to you guys. It's separate from the unboxings because obviously that's a mass pickup from the manufacturer and this is just all the stuff I pick up on the side. So most of this stuff I bought off eBay, uh, some of it I actually bought from cash converters and some of it I actually bought from a fellow anime YouTuber. So let's get started. The first couple here I have two Pokemon DVDs and these were released by Magna Pacific Home Entertainment. Um, that's what they were formerly known as, uh, now they're known as Beyond Home Entertainment. And I actually picked these up from fellow Australian anime YouTuber Doc Dazza. If any of you guys are familiar with his videos, he used to do kind of similar stuff to what I do. He used to do a lot of Mad Men unboxings, um, new releases, and also some Hanabi new releases back in the day. Uh, he hasn't posted videos in some time now. And I've seen, I follow him on eBay, a lot of his collection he's actually posted up on eBay. Uh, so I don't know if he's selling all of his collection or what he's doing, but... Um, that's none of my business, I just decided to swoop in and pick up some stuff uh, that I didn't have. And here's some of that. So these are the earlier releases for Pokemon. I have Season 1 here, this is Indigo League, and they're in a nice collector's... Uh, like a slipcase, it's not really a box, and they slide out like this into a nice kind of digipack type packaging. So there's Pikachu and Ash, and then if we open it up here, we have like some fact files and stuff, or maybe just the menus, and then there's all of the discs there, so um, slowly I am watching Pokemon, and it's more of a nostalgia thing because I used to watch it as a kid. Uh, I actually own all of Pokemon up until like the new seasons, I believe, X and Y, or at least that's the newest ones to me. Here we have season two. Uh, so these have about 52 episodes on them each, so, you know, really good value. And you can still buy these um, in retail stores, but obviously there's a lot of different options. Like, Pokemon has so many variations, especially here in Australia. Beyond Home Entertainment re-released this series to death, seriously, but, uh, you know, there's some nice variants to my Pokemon collection. Next, we have a single Siren visual release, and this was also bought from Doc Dazza, and that is Clannad, part one here. Now, I've actually seen all of this. It comes in a nice slipcase just the same. So if we slip it out there, there's the packaging on the inside. And I have to say, Clannad, in my opinion, is one of the most overrated anime I've ever seen. A lot of people say it's their favorite, and it's a must-watch anime. I can only speak for the first season because I didn't watch After Story, but I really just, I think it's just a very average anime. I think they tried to overplay the drama. Uh, a lot of the characters were just really shallow, and it was good at some path, but honestly just a very average anime series. Next we have a single Hanabi release, and also bought from Doc Dazza. We have the collector's art box for Princess Knight. This is a 70s anime, believe it or not. Probably not a lot of you guys are familiar with this, and I'm certainly not familiar with it. Uh, but it's a shoujo series, a very old one, and that's <laughs> what you see is basically what you get. I'm sure it has a lot of charm to it. Uh, the old animation certainly has charm when I watch it, but I just can't really go back and watch old anime. Anything past, like, the 80s, I tend to steer clear from. And I bought this one fairly cheap, and Hanabi were having a recent sale, and I actually re-bought it because, uh, you know, this box is in used condition, and I decided to re-buy that one so I'd have it brand new and sealed, so expect that one in the next Hanabi unboxing. Next, getting into the Mad Men DVDs, um... The first three here I bought from Cash Converters for about a dollar each, so really good saving there, and it's just simply a single volume of Bakugan, that's Battle Brawlers Volume 2 there, and also Volume 5 here. So I've never seen this, and I probably never will. Next we have one that is disputably an anime, um, but it's actually a 1986 American and Japanese co-produced um, animation, and that is... Transformers the movie. Now this was actually made by Toei Animation, the people who made Dragon Ball and One Piece. So you can't really get any more anime than that. Um, I used to watch Dra uh, <laughs> sorry, I used to watch Transformers as a kid, and uh, you know, good to have the movie there. So the next series I absolutely love, and that is Samurai Girls. So this is a full etchy, trashy series uh, set in feudal Japan, where a lot of the um, warlords are samurai females and. 
as you can imagine, it's just full of, you know, etchy and harem aspects, but I love this series. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, and I picked up the second season, Samurai Bride, in my last video on the channel. And I really want to get some of the figures of these too, because they have some really good figures I've been looking at online. Uh, so there's Samurai Girls. Next is another one that I picked up the second season of in my Madman unboxing, and that is Yuru Yuri. This is season one. Um, I also picked up these last few off Doc Dazzler, so I picked up a good like 30% of this pickup off him. Um, so, you know, all good there. So the next one, I don't know if I've ever mentioned my favorite anime on the channel. Um, but it's a fairly big toss-up between like four or five series and it's so hard to pick. But if I had to pick one, I would honestly go with Gurren Lagann. And that is because when I watched this, I, I knew the, I knew the fan base behind it and I went into it honestly thinking I wasn't going to like it and it was going to be overrated and like it blew all of my expectations out of the park. If you don't know what this is, it's a mecha series but it's so over the top, um, you know, the art style and the fight scenes and honestly the biggest thing to this that I would suggest people to watch it and that draws me in to make it my favourite anime is just, you know, the way it shows the capabilities of the human spirit and what people are really... Um, uh, capable of if they if they really try to reach for the heavens and break down every wall in front of them. I, I freaking love Gurren Lagann so much. Uh, it's just such an epic tale of just like human triumph over a greater evil and you know just there's a little bit of good in everyone and I love the characters in this. This the characters in this are the biggest part of it and uh, you know I cannot wait to get the Blu-ray of this and re-watch it, but there, for now, is the Slim Pack DVD. Uh, next up, we have another couple that are relating to my Madman pickup, which is kind of funny because I bought a lot of these back last year, because uh, I haven't done an anime game since September, so a lot of these I bought in, like, November and such. And that is the second season to Love, Chunibyo, and Other Delusions. Now, I thought the Blu-ray I picked up in the last video was the second season, but that was actually the first season, and here is the DVD version of the second season, which never got a Blu-ray here in Australia, which is a little bit disappointing, um, but still exciting, and when I finish the first season, I'll go into that. Next, I believe this is the th second and third season, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I picked up Extreme Executor of Iki Tausen in the pickup video I did on the channel, and here is the third season, I believe, um, Great Guardians. So, this is just the Slim Pack, it's one core, 12 episodes on here. And next we have the collector's art box of Dragon Destiny. I believe that is the second season. But again, I'm not really up with Icky Towson. I I know I don't have the first season, that's all I know. So if I did want to watch it, and I do, um, I don't have the one I need to watch. So here's all the individual volumes with some nice artwork on there. And they're all housed in this collector's art box. So that's exciting. Okay, finally we're going to move into the Blu-rays, and these are also released by Madman. All of them are. So let's start off with some really cool ones here. We have the limited edition, collector's edition of season one of Love Live School Idol Project. These are on Blu-ray, as I said, but they're actually the size of DVDs, and they're in a nice collector's uh, slipcase. And if we slip it out here, there is a booklet, which I'll show first. And I assume it's just, so it's probably upside down, the artwork of the series and maybe some facts of like the music or something like that. Um, and here is the DVD case. Some really nice artwork, you know, take a look at that. Really nice. And just some standard discs in the middle there. And I also picked up the second season limited edition with the same uh, collector's packaging. So if we slip this one out, we have a booklet, same, with some goodies in there. Love Live has a massive following and I do want to watch it. I'm not like the biggest fan of idols or idol shows or anything like that. In fact, I've probably never seen any. Uh, but, you know, Love Live's a great one to start off with. Next, we have a series that I have seen and that I love, and it's a really funny one. Barker and Test, Summon the Beasts, Season 1. A really funny series. Um, the basic premise is all of the students 
at this uh, academy their scores on their exams, put them into different classes, and then they can use their scores in certain subjects to battle each other for better, better classrooms and better equipment. So like a really crazy premise that you would only see in anime, um, but a really great series. Funny and heartwarming and some really great characters in there. And next we have Fate Zero Collection 2. I uh, had the opportunity to see the Heaven's Feel movie at the anime convention last year, and it seemed like a really good movie, but I'm just so far out of the Fate franchise um, that I've only seen, you know, Fate Stay Night, the original. Um, so I've got a bit of catching up to do with Fate, and, you know, Zero is apparently one of the best uh, looking anime ever made, and I can't wait to check that one out. Next we have Appleseed 13 series collection. Not much to say about it. We have Okami-san. I've seen a couple of episodes of this and it's basically like a fairy tale setting, um, but in modern day. So she is the wolf and she protects Little Red Riding Hood. And I think there's a bunch of other fairy tale characters, but it seems kind of unique and something I want to get back into re-watching. Next we have one that I've recently watched with my girlfriend. She picked it out and it just slipped under my radar. Um, I bought it, so obviously I knew about it, but I didn't know anything about it. And I have to say the cover art and also the title really don't do this series justice. And that is Unbreakable Machine Doll. This is based on a series of light novels. Um, and I have to say that really shines through like the, the lore and the world building in the first four episodes of this is some of the best I've seen in any anime yet. Unfortunately, it fell a little bit flat towards the end, it kind of just like, it was, it's based around this uh, magic academy where puppeteers have machines and they battle each other in a tournament style thing to be like the, uh, I forget what it's called, but you know, basically like number one and they get all the money and the research and uh, the power to do whatever they want. And I was really excited to see more of that tournament, but unfortunately they kind of just steered clear of that tournament and went off into all these different side stories, so it kind of fell flat in the end. Um, but the first, like, four to five episodes were some of the best I've seen for a while. Really refreshing, and I still enjoyed this series. I'd love to see a season two. And finally, a duplicate I picked up, um, and I picked this one up in my last video. There is the first season of Love, Chinebio, and Other Delusions. So that is all of the anime I bought up until about the start of the year. I have some more stuff, so there will be another episode of Anime Gains, probably coming in March. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, leave a comment and a like on this video, and stay tuned for more. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye. Take it easy, guys.